Hi, I'm Jeff, and uh, I'd just like to welcome everyone to the channel. Just to introduce myself as well, I'm a, a psychotherapist, a weightless coach, and personal trainer. The heart of the channel here, and the heart of what I want to share with people, is how to achieve body transformations that last. Now, there's no value, I think, in having a short term result. And if it's yo yoed and gone up and down and spent years doing it and then not doing it so we don't we don't want that anymore we want to get consistent results if that sounds like something you'd like to learn more about um, not just today but ongoingly click subscribe uh, and then hit the notifications bell uh, so you can know what's coming out today we're here to talk about how to stop making excuses for working out the top reason that we're gonna start with today is blaming external circumstances. You know, there are always things going on in life. There's always some party coming up, the kids are sick or work's busy, always that kind of thing going on. We're all got little time, everyone's busy, everyone's got it hard. Uh, so having that be the reason why we don't do anything, I mean, you, you never do anything. The reality is there's always things in life that you can change. Some things you can't, um, but the truth is there's a lot more that you can change than we typically think. You know, I think we were sort of taught in this culture that, that, you know, if the outside world would only be a certain way, then I could get things going on. Uh, but the truth is the world is as it is and it's not going to change anytime soon. And, and life is becoming more and more chaotic as we go on. So. Uh, you know, we're going to have to learn to rise to that occasion and handle the chaos, handle all the external circumstances that are going to change and, and you know, they'll probably be worse at some point, whatever they are, you know, that you've got now. And, and what are you going to do? Just quit? No, we can't do that. All right, that's not going to get you long term results. And letting go of your health goals and everything that's making you feel fit and strong and confident it isn't making you show up better in those circumstances. You can always just take on a new perspective and just start moving forward. That's a big part of what uh, we're gonna get into throughout um, our journey here uh, on this channel and um, anything else we've got. How to take control of the things that we can in our lives. Very empowering process. So that's step one, or point one, right? The next point is what I'm gonna call keep the momentum going. Sometimes you just, you're not gonna wanna do it and sometimes it's going to be hard and sometimes it is the last thing you want to do but you do it anyway but it, and it doesn't mean flog yourself and destroy yourself and you have to do it so hard all the time it just means you do something you do have the power to make some change somewhere absolutely right even if it's the tiniest little bit a key solution that I've found makes a big difference is that choose something, have sort of what we call a minimum effective dose. Yeah, something that you're going to be able to do uh, even under high stress situations. And really, as, as we take control of one thing, um, the tiny little thing then it starts to grow and we can nurture that change and grow it. Uh, and then things that make the, the process more fun and, and you actually getting the results you want is good. And, and this is how it can really last. For a third item and last point uh, we're making today is the harder it is, the more that you get out of it. You know, they say that sometimes the, the workout that you don't want to do, that's the most important one because it builds your discipline, it builds your commitment and it's just something that happens on the inside when you do it even when you don't want to, it's just the commitment becomes stronger. Okay, everyone seems pretty comfortable with the idea that the harder you work out, the more you get out of it. I mean, it's obvious, right? You know, you get Olympic athletes, and bodybuilders and whatever, the, the harder that the workout is, the bigger they get, the stronger they get, the fitter they get. That's what it's like on the inside too. The internal struggles we go through, the harder it is, the more you get out of it. And I think as long as you are connected to that, then the suffering has a purpose, you know, and it has something uh, that is inspiring in it, even though it sucks, and sometimes it does. It's making me stronger. You yeah? know, this, this is the, I just, I'm, I'm feeling weak and down, but I'm doing it anyway. And then you come out the other end of that, you know, that you have a, a sense of confidence and, and, uh, and pride, you know, the more pride that you have, 
uh, for how hard you worked to get through it and how you did it even though you didn't want to that is you know that that, that really really uh, empowers the process uh, really a key to be consistent is to do it even when you don't want to do it because then you've got that commitment and that discipline growing and the harder that it was for you to do the easier it's going to be for you to do next time because you know last time that was that sucked but now yeah this is easy right so if this uh, has been of interest to you and you've gotten something out of it i think it would be good to subscribe uh, and hit the notifications bell uh, that way you can get uh, more of our material and uh, make sure you're updated with all uh, the new stuff coming in Okay, so thanks for being here. Thanks for listening and uh, there's plenty more coming. I'll see you next time.